Okay. okay, good morning. So today we're looking at worksheet 12 D. There's a first video thereof. Okay, so we are told that D1 is equal to X. Um, CA is equal to CD, which means to say that and this angle is the same. So angle A is also X. Okay. Then the first question says prove that BG BG this angle is equal that length is equal to GA which is that angle there. So if we can prove that these angles are equal, we've done the job. If we can prove that angle A and angle B1 is X, we've done the job. Okay. So we know that angle A as indicated is equal to X. Why? Um, angles opposite equal sides. Okay? So it's angles opposite equal sides. So there is an X here. P1 would also be X. Why? Can you see it's a cyclic quad here? Then, the, 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 the cyclic quad, G, B, C, D. So B1 is equal to X, Y. X, T, the angle of cyclic quad. That's an X here. So we say since angle A is equal to angle P1, which is equal to X. Therefore, therefore, um, AG is equal to GB. Why? Because it's angles opposite equal sides. No, it's actually the converse. Sides, because I'll be talking about sides, sides opposite equal angles okay the sides opposite equal angles okay so now i'll fill that in because they have proven it to be equal okay let's go with b the 1.2 in 1.2 it if it's further given that b1 is equal to b2 so let's use the other color there b1 is equal to b2 so that means to say b2 is also x okay so, of course, B1 is equal to B2, which is equal to X. Why? That was given out to us. Why do I write it down? Because it's not on the diagram. Okay, so I put the X there as well. Alright. Prove that D1 is equal to D2. D1 is equal to D2. So, you see here that D1 is X. You can see his angles in the same segment as well, from B2 and D2. So, D2 is equal to B2 which is equal to x. Why? Angles in the same segment. And it's coming from arc. This is coming from arc um, GE. Okay. So there's an also an x. So therefore, P1, sorry, not P1, but D1, is equal to D2, which is equal to x. Okay, we had just proven that thing. Okay, just take it down. Okay, so 1.3. Question 1.0, sorry, 1.2.1, 1.2.2. Okay. In question 1.2, sorry about the noise in the background. 1.2.2, angle E is equal to DEC. So we're looking at D, E, C. No. Angle E is equal to E D C. So you see this is 2x here. So if we can prove that this angle is 2x, we've done the job. Okay. So this angle here is in the relation with angle C1. Angle C. Why? Opposite angle of cyclic one is supplementary. Can you see the cyclic one there? However, you see that angle C also forms an angle in that triangle ACD. Can you see that? So there is x, x, so I can work out angle C, 180 minus 2x. And then I'll link it to angle E. So let's write that down. So angle C is going to be 180 minus 2x. Reason? It is um, sum of triangles and it's in triangle. A, C, D. Okay? That's 180 minus 2x. So we said that if this is 180 minus 2x, 
we know that opposite angles are supplementary. So 180 minus 2x plus angle E is equal to 180. Opposite angle is exactly what? So angle E is 2x. So let's just write that down. So we're going to say 180 minus 2x plus angle E is equal to 180. So angle E is equal to, it cancels, 2x. Okay, this is opposite angles of cyclic chord. Okay. So yeah, 2x. So you see that is 2x and this is 2x. And they built down the job. We have proven now that angle E is equal to EDC. So therefore, angle E is equal to EDC, which is equal to 2x. Okay. Now we're looking at uh, number 3. In number 3, we are told... In number 3, we are told that POR is a diameter. So if POR is a diameter, then angle S2 and 3 is 90 degrees. Okay. Is there any other angle here that's linked to that? No? The angle at center. Stoise angle circumference will come into play here and see here really. But I'm looking for, is that the only um, angle in semicircle? Yes. So we are told that's the diameter of the circle. Okay. PT, PT is parallel to OS. So if that is parallel, then this angle here, will be equal to that whole angle there, okay? And this angle there is equal to that angle, alternate angle, see? O2 is also equal to angle T1, okay? So, um, we are then told that OPS, OPS is equal to X. First question says in 3.1, just put a line here. Three point one TPS TPS in terms of X. Okay. So I'm already seeing that this angle here and this angle is the same. Okay, so this is angles opposite equal sides. This is going to be one eighty minus two X, that can be two X. Just see again. TPS. T, P, S. So this angle here is alternate to, to that angle there. Okay, so yes, we, we can say firstly that S2 is equal to X. Angles opposite equal sides because of the radius, the radii. Okay. So there's an X here. So T, P, S is also equal to X. So alternate angles with Q, S, O, O, S, sorry being parallel to PT. Okay. Then, then, so there's an X here now, okay. So in 3.2, the question says, express TAS in terms of X. ITO is in terms of X. So T A S, which is this angle here. Okay. So that is exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite. Okay, so that I need T1. Okay. Do I have T1? No. Can I calculate T1? Yes, T1 is the same as O2. But we don't have O2. Okay. Just mm, get okay. A, a T, A, S. Okay. So is this the same here? Can I pause it? I don't want to waste the, the, the time on you. Okay, I got it. So uh, as I said for this angle here, exterior angles will sum the interior opposite. We know that O2 is double angle uh, TPS. So angle at center is twice angle at circumference. So angle O2 is equal to 2x. 
angle at center. So that's going to be 2x. So then turn TAS. X T the angle is called the sum of two in T the opposite, which is 3x. So X T the angle of triangle dot dot dot. And it's triangle uh, AOS. Okay. Let me get the bit smaller. All right. The, uh, the rest I will do in the next video. If I had made any uh, mistakes, please let me know on that number. Alternatively, these videos are free. Or if there's an, an easier way of explaining um, the, the, the sum, please let me know on that number.